this video is gonna be all over the place I'm just warning you now <laughs> hey guys and welcome back so in today's video we are going to be talking about Anastasia Norvina collection not just one palette not just two palettes but three palettes in this entire collection and they are pretty fucking bomb if I have to say so myself I love them I think that they are so good I think they're so good and they also launched some glitters as well I don't know if like the glitters are a part of Norvina's collection um, I will insert swatches and everything for you um, I didn't realize that I never posted a video using volume one I only posted it on my IGTV so I will link that down below for you guys and I'll insert some photos of looks that I've done using these palettes that I've only posted on Instagram whether it was just an IGTV video or if it was a video that I posted on my feed or if it was just a post I will insert some pictures here in the screen obviously but I have all three palettes I want to talk about them and they're massive so we have one two and three I literally got three today in the mail and I literally came home and as soon as I unboxed it I was like I need to fucking play with this palette so I will insert swatches so let's talk about ABH Norvina collection volume one so volume one is more purple tones. So this is what Norvina volume one looks like. So you have a crap ton of purple tones. This is literally such a beautiful palette. And I really, really love it because I love these pops of neon right here. It's like a neon orange shade and a neon like corally shade. That's pretty much like Norvina's color scheme is like purple and neon coral. And I think that this palette is beautiful. The purples blend beautifully. I have had so many struggles with purples in the past, whether it was a pastel purple, a dark purple, a light purple, a vibrant purple. I've had such a hard time blending, building the color, and then when you pack on the color, you lose the color, and then it kind of gets a little bit patchy, and sometimes purples can get a little muddy, and I don't have that problem with this palette. I think this palette is beautiful. I have a couple of few shades in here that are my favorite. I'm obsessed with B3 and C3. They are literally gorgeous. I love A4, of course, and E1 is probably my absolute favorite shade in this palette because it's just it's just so unique and it's so pretty and the mattes blend beautifully the shimmers are absolutely to die for packaging um comes with a very very large mirror and it's in a very secure packaging so if you want to travel with it or if you are a traveling makeup artist and you do freelance like these are great because they're pretty slim they are large but they're pretty slim so you can fit them in your kit it's a very 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 heavy duty palette it's not heavy in weight per se but it's just it's very built I hope that's the correct term to say it like she's not going anywhere like you are good um, I definitely wouldn't like drop it on the floor obviously but she is a pretty hefty palette like she is beautiful all of the palettes look like this just there's just different color designs and all of that um, absolutely beautiful so this is more of like the purpley tones they're not a like I've noticed that they're really not that much of a cool purple where like it almost pulls a little gray. I've noticed that they're more vibrant, they're more neon, they have more color to it. So I feel like it's more of a neutral and you're not going to lose the color or the pigmentation when you use these, when you use this palette. And I love the pop of blue and I love the black in the palette and the white in this palette is to die for. If you purchased um, Anastasia Riviera palette, that white is so intense and that and this white is pretty much very 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 similar if not even more intense I really like the shade names and it's really really easy so if I'm telling you I'm using Norvina volume 1 D3 you're gonna know that D3 is the shade and it's the same exact way in these other two palettes as well it goes A1 through A5 B1 through B5 C1 through C5 D1 through D5 and E1 through E5 so this is a really nice palette if you like color if you like experimenting with color if you're new to experimenting with color um, this palette is beautiful there are 25 shades bigger pan size than their regular palettes and this believe I believe retails for $59 or $60 which I don't think it's that bad because you get this beautiful huge palette a very large pan size and a big mirror so I think it's definitely worth the price point and I really do enjoy this palette as well next we have Norvina volume 2 and I haven't really played with this one that much because I just recently got it a few days ago and I mean like the more I play with my makeup, the more my eyeballs hate me. 
Um, so this is what Norvina Volume 2 looks like. It's a very beautiful, like, is this like a turquoise or like a teal blue packaging? It has like gold. I don't know what this kind of pattern is called. And this palette is more blues and greens. And you got your pops of other colors. And this is a very beautiful palette. Now you're going to look at this and you're going to be like, Michelle, how the am I supposed to wear this palette like it's not a wearable palette and you're right it's not for some people it is though so if you're one of those people and you want to experiment with color I highly recommend purchasing this palette and as a makeup collector or you know as a makeup artist this is one of those palettes where it's like it's gonna last you you can create tons and tons and tons of looks because I see a lot of blue or green palettes and they don't have other tones in it like it's literally just blue or if it's just green it's kind of more monochromatic whereas this palette is you do have those tones where you have like a lot of blue tones you have a lot of green tones which also have these pops of color and neon and, and hot pink and neon orange and yellow and you have this red shade you still have a black shade but you have these like other muted shades as well and it's really really nice and you get these like highlighter colors like i feel like the this color and this color just reminds me of like highlighters like actual like highlighters not face highlighters like actual like highlighters <laughs> Um, this palette is beautiful. I have tons and tons and tons of ideas of looks to do with this palette. So once this video goes live, I am going to obviously have dedicated videos for every single palette. Um, I will definitely try and get up as many looks as I can. I know a lot of people don't really like the fact that the palettes aren't laid out where you can like kind of bunch them together. The colors are more sporadic and they're not strategically placed so it's easier for people to create a look with the colors. A lot of palettes do that like if you've noticed in palettes like usually like if you make like a square with your with your palette you can usually make eye looks with it. So a lot of people I know were a little bit upset. I saw a few tweets um, and I know I think Norvina actually tweeted something as well saying that she just that she liked the visualization of just like seeing all the colors here instead of like just strategically placed and I know it's kind of like frustrating especially if you're just starting out and you're like I don't know how to fucking pair these shades together it's okay like YouTube them, YouTube color theory, YouTube how to like pair colors together um, but green and orange is a very 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 hot especially in the fall like green and orange is a very hot commodity and they're really really nice together i have to say and i will definitely be posting a look with this very very soon i did just post a green look like a greenish blue look on my instagram and i'm absolutely obsessed with the way that it looks and i actually used some of her glitters in there as well so this is what volume two looks like um, I love that you get a black shade in this palette and in the first palette you do not get a black shade in the third palette I'm gonna show you that very very soon. So this is volume two and I will play you the mini clip This is look number two complete with volume two And I did just want to go over the glitters with you because I never went over the glitters with you guys So I have them all in here just because I didn't know which one I wanted to play with um, I'm gonna insert swatches for you guys because I did that already and I don't want glitter all over the place So first glitter we have is carnival, which I also have on my lids right now It is a gorgeous orange shade with a gold and green reflect. It is really pretty um, It's what I have right here on my lids. So you guys can see it reflects like a really pretty iridescent green um, But the base of it is orange. So it's actually very very beautiful. So this is what it looks like um, then we have my personal favorite, Day 2. Day 2 looks pretty boring. I know, it looks like a plain old white glitter in a jar, but it's not. So this one actually differs from this one, which I'm going to talk about next. Day 2 is really, really pretty. It reflects like a goldish, yellowy orange. Do you guys see that on the back of my hand really cool? But I think that this this glitter is my favorite honestly. This would look so beautiful with a matte eye and then just kind of like flick on some glitter like right in the center of the eye. It would look so nice. So I recommend if you're going to pick up one glitter, day two. So Flower Child, which is this one, which is super similar to day two, which is right here. Um, this is gorgeous as well. So it's pretty much it looks the exact same, but this reflex more this reflects more blue, blue greenish purple, I believe. It kind of has purple, green, white, silvery reflex to it. It's really 
really nice. And if you guys can see if the camera's picking it up, how different it is from day two, which is kind of like that orangey shade. Um, but I think that this one is beautiful as well. I'm not going to swatch all of them, by the way, because I literally have no desire to get glitter everywhere. Then we have probably one of my second favorite shades in glitter. This is Color Wave. Um, it's such a beautiful green shade. Like, this just kind of reminds me of money because it's, like, so beautiful. It's, like, a, an emerald green type of shade, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So, this is Color Wave. Another green shade kind of reflects to, like, a different, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, a sage green. This is Rally, which is really, really nice. Very, very, very pretty. I love this shade a lot. It's really, really nice and unique. I don't think I have a glitter like this. Next three shades I have are purples. So this one is Wavy, which is a really pretty cool tone purple. It's more like bluish purple. It's really, really pretty. I like this shade a lot. I haven't played with it yet, but just swatching it, I could tell that it's going to be a really nice shade. Um, so this is in the shade Wavy. Next we have the shade Team No Sleep, which is absolutely stunning. This is like a party on your eyes. It really is. Like I hope you guys can see how crazy that is inside. It's like pink and blue and purple reflex and it's just so, so pretty. It really is like a party in your eyes. Like I picture this like confetti. It's so pretty. Then for the last purple I have, we have In The Moment, which is a true vibrant purple like it is absolutely stunning it looks so beautiful it's coming off a little dark on camera because like it's in the bottle and i'm trying not to get much of a glare there so you can really see the color so we have team no sleep wavy and in the moment really really pretty as you guys can see they're all different shades then the last two shades are blue so we have dimension which are pretty much just glitter stars Super cute, really, really nice. Great to have, honestly, in your collection. I love a chunkier glitter, whether it's something that's cut up, like um, I know that they have the heart ones that they launched for Valentine's Day. Um, and I just think that it's really nice to have these in your collection because you can put them anywhere. I wouldn't necessarily put them on my lid. I would put them like kind of on the outer corner or like the inner corner, or you know, you can like make a really nice glitter lip with these, which would be really fun. And you could put them on your body too because they're they're big, like they're chunky stars and you will see them and they have such a beautiful blue turquoise like teal rainbow kind of effect to it it's really really nice so this is dimension so last but not least we have keep palm glitter which is this really pretty beautiful bluish turquoisey glitter it's got a lot of reflex of teal and turquoise and blue and it's got some gold and silver in there too it's really really pretty i have this underneath on my lower lash line right now um but i have it on top of a blue and a green eyeshadow and i feel like it's pulling a little bit bluish green right now which i kind of am not mad at yeah so my favorite glitters from this collection have to be day two without a doubt day two is one of my favorites Key Palm is another one of my favorites. I cannot wait to keep playing with it. Shit, can I do top five? I don't think I can pick three. Carnival, so beautiful. Color Wave, definitely. I think Color Wave is really, really pretty. And I'm like, not a green person. And then Team No Sleep is another beautiful shade. So these are my favorite shades. Okay. So the glitters are $15 each. I believe the glitter adhesive is $18. Don't quote me. I will leave everything in down below in the description box. Um, so four will have nine out of the ten with four in store only for animation for now. See all details below. In the moment, which is this shade, this beautiful purple shade. In the moment is a shade that is exclusive to ABH.com. So if you want this shade, I would definitely um, pick it up online. Nine shades launching online, four shades launching in store on 926. So the four shades launching in store on 926, which it has passed already, are Carnival, Flower Child, Dimension, and Rally. So these four shades, Dimension, which are the stars that like sage green, Flower Child, which is that white but has that blue reflect, and then Carnival, those are launching in store. Yeah. 
and the moment is exclusive to abh.com those four are going to go in store and then the rest are all online so if you want to see them in person i would just kind of see the four that are in person for now they are selling the launch edition which i have back there the glitters i believe they're selling it with a backpack for like 90 dollars which is pretty good because you do get a full size glitter adhesive in there as well um so i definitely think it's something that you guys should consider especially if you really like glitters so this completes Norvina Volume 2 plus the glitters and I'm really excited to do another video dedicated on Volume 2 but now we are going to go ahead and move on to Volume 3. And last but not least we have Norvina Volume 3. This is probably my favorite palette. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Um, love the packaging. I'm obsessed with butterflies. My whole family were obsessed with butterflies. So, I mean, the packaging sold me. The orange sold me. And then just looking at it, you're just like, wow. Like, that's stinking fucking beautiful. Like, it is literally beautiful. Like, there are so many pucks of green in here that I just feel like belong in this palette. And I think it's beautiful. And I love that you still have your neutral tones in it. So this is a more subdued look that I have on my eyes using this palette because I went so intense with the first two palettes and I was like, let me just kind of like tone it down a little bit. But my next tutorial with this is going to be so much fun. I'm very excited. I want to put these greens on my eyes. I want to play with these duo chromey shimmer shades. They're beautiful. They're very, very foiled and pigmented. I love them. I'm loving this shade down here, D3. It's a really pretty purple shade absolutely love this palette this is probably my favorite palette out of the whole entire collection um so if you're kind of like me and you're sticking more towards neutral shades but you still want your pops of color this is your palette if you're a makeup artist if you're a makeup collector a hoarder i would suggest getting the whole range just because you will be set especially i feel like if you're a working makeup artist Let's say you don't want to purchase the blue palette, like how many clients are you actually putting blue and green on their eyes? That's fine. I would recommend you getting three and one. If you're a traveling makeup artist, maybe you could pass on the second one just because it's more blue and green. It's more like artistic, unless you're doing more artistic and and like fashion show and like avant-garde makeup looks, like then you can get away with, use, with purchasing this and actually getting your money's worth and using it. Um, but if you're just a traveling makeup artist, you know, doing events, weddings, parties, all that stuff, I would definitely recommend three or one. Cause this palette is the epitome of like a full palette. It really is. Um, I do have to say it lacks darker brown shades, um, but I'm okay with that because I have a crap ton of fucking brown shades in my collection. So I don't, I feel like I don't need a palette. I feel like I don't need another palette that has more brown shades because I just have so many brown shades, whether it's a single eyeshadow, whether if it's in a palette, I have so many of them. So if I need to, I can always grab that palette. People do like having everything in one palette, but I mean, you can't have it all, you know what I'm saying? So like I, that's why I mentioned that there wasn't a black in this palette and there was a black in that palette. So if you need a white and a black in the palette, I would definitely suggest you getting Norvina Volume 1. If you like warm tones, this is your BFF. If you like blue tones, this is your BFF. If you like purple tones, this will be your BFF. I'm telling you, there's a palette here for everybody. If you like more purple tones, if you like more artistic colors, then definitely go with these palettes. And if you're not someone that wears blue or green eyeshadow, then don't get volume two. If you're not someone that wears purple eyeshadow, then don't get volume one. If you're someone that wears more neutral tones, I would get volume three. As a makeup artist, as a makeup collector, as someone who is obsessed with makeup. And if these weren't sent to me, I think I would buy them all. I think I would because if I were to go in the store and if I were to see this, if I I think I I think I wouldn't be inclined to buy volume 2 unless I saw it in the store. Being completely honest with you because to me it's like it's like ooh artistry, but it's like ooh do I really want to spend $60 on a palette that I'm going to half use. You know what I'm saying? And that's my honest opinion. They did send these to me, and I'm very, very, very appreciative. I've always disclosed when Anastasia has sent me products, but they are in no way, like, making me make this video. I wanted to make this video because every time I posted a new palette from this collection, I got so many DMs. It was like, please let me know how volume 2 is. Please let me know how volume 3 is. Please let me know which one I should get once you've done playing with all, like... You know, like, I've gotten so many DMs and comments saying, like, please let me know. And that's why I decided to do this video because... I think it's important and especially if you have no idea like how to 
create looks with this color pattern, then this palette is not going to be for you. But if you're someone who wants to dive in and be creative and, you know, wear orange and hot pink with blue, then you do it. Like, there are, there are some days where I look at this palette and I'm just like, what the fuck kind of look am I supposed to do? And then I go on Twitter and there are so many people that are putting like A1 with like B1 and then like, you know, this color and it's insane, but they make it work. And it's all about color theory, what colors look good together, what colors are going to complement you. And I know um, Sam, like Samantha Ravenball, she actually posted a video on color theory and I'm going to link it down below. I absolutely love her. And, um... I think that pa that video will help a lot of people, especially if you're just beginning with makeup because makeup is hard and there are colors that don't really blend well together. There are some colors that will mesh and be muddy and there are some colors that just won't agree with each other and that's normal. So yes, I am very, very, very grateful that Anastasia and Norvina have sent this to me and I've said this a thousand times. I appreciate them with like everything in me and I am so 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 grateful and thankful and I'm gonna be honest if I wasn't sent these I probably wouldn't get two because looking at it I'm just like hmm. the formula is a dream like they're buildable they're they're pigmented they're buttery soft like I'm telling you I need you to pick up your most intense or most colorful palette you have and I want you to feel the texture of the eyeshadows within whatever palette you're holding and I want you to tell me what it feels like. Is it buttery? Is it smooth? Is it like still pigmented? Like if you swatch it, is it patchy? Like these shades. There are a handful of ones that you do have to build up the swatch but I don't care about that because I'm not I'm not packing them on with my finger, you know? You're obviously gonna get a different swatch with a brush but these shades are literally like so buttery and smooth and they're so buildable and pigmented and they blend for you like you have the right tools the right brushes they blend for you and that's why I'm telling you you should get your hands on these and I'm not saying that because they sent these to me I'm not saying it whatsoever I have picked up this palette three times since I got it I did one look that I hated wiped off didn't want to talk about it that's okay. Like, it's makeup, it wipes off. If you don't like it, just wipe it off, it's okay. If you don't like the palette, keep the carton and return it. Keep the outer packaging, keep your receipt and return it. It's okay. If I was buying these, I would obviously purchase this palette, hands down, and I think I would purchase the purple palette as well, which is volume one, because I have yet to find a palette in my collection or just like shades in general, purple shades that blend beautifully, that blend, that are pigmented, that don't give me problems. Um, it did stain my eyes a little bit, but nothing too drastic. Same with the um, with the blue, did stain my eyes a little bit, nothing too drastic, but this palette is beautiful as well. So if you're a purple girl, get it. If you're not a purple girl, honestly, you should still get it because I'm telling you, playing with this formula will make you into a purple girl. And I feel like we've all had those like traumatic like makeup experiences where it's like purple looks terrible on your eyes because maybe it was the wrong tone of purple maybe you didn't know how to blend it maybe you didn't have the right transition shade or primer like there are so many different like aspects that go into you not liking a product it's kind of like when people do a full face of first impressions like you really don't know how anything is going to look you don't know how that primer is going to work with that foundation or that foundation is going to work with that concealer like you don't know and that's kind of like why there are a lot of people that shy away from stepping out of their comfort zone and I'm I'm one of them I am I'm one of them I recently just started getting into like really artistic and colorful makeup and I'm so glad that I did because I have the makeup and I have the palettes to help me achieve that and I have all the products for that so I recommend every single palette in this collection I do I do I do I do I do I do the collection is limited edition I think you should get it I will let you guys know what is on the site so when I go to my Safari and I go to abh.com and I type in Norvina, um, it says search results for Norvina. You have the Pro Pigment Palette, which is Volume 1, it's $60, Volume 2 and Volume 3, $60. You can get the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1 Launch Edition. You can get the original Norvina eyeshadow palette. You can get the Volume 3 Launch Edition 
Norvina Glitters. You can get Volume 2 Launch Edition. You can get Norvina Glitter Launch Edition with the pink book bag, which I have and I'll show you. Or you can get the Norvina Glitter Launch Edition with the purple book bag. So this is the pink book bag. Super cute, see-through neon. And then you have the purple one with the green as well. Okay, guys, so that completes this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. Tweet me, DM me, do whatever you want. Let me know. I want to help you guys. I want to help you guys make the really, like, the right decision. If you pick up any of these palettes, I suggest picking up the primer too. So if you're going to pick up the primer, I would definitely go ahead and try and pick up, like, the launch edition because it does come with a primer. Um, so you know how many fucking primers I have lying around my house right now? Um, yeah, it's just a really nice primer. I'm just lazy when it comes to eye primer because I'm already cutting out and cleaning up my brow with concealer or foundation. Like, why can't I just fucking prime my lids with that? You know what I'm saying? That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see first. Um, what palette you guys want me to play with first. What kind of look you want me to do. Let me know. Let me know what you guys what palette you guys are going to pick up. Let me know if you're going to pick up anything. I'm going to mention the glitters in different attire, so don't be alarmed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.